Hello everyone, this is the introduction video for Oegi Pikachu for the International Core Space Online Alcohol Challenge in the Under-19 category. I'm Moritz, you can see me standing on the right in the picture. I live in Bremen, in Germany. Um, I have been programming since I'm 9 years old and I have been participating in Core Space for 3 years now. Hello, I'm Jonas. I'm 17 years old. I live in Niental, which is near Bremen. I have been programming since I'm 13 years old and I have been doing Coast Space for 4 years now. We took part in the ICO Challenge 2016, the RoboCup World Championship in Nagoya, Japan 2017. Um, we both qualified and took part in the German Championships in 2018, 2019 and 2020. Uh, we also participated in the European Championship in Montesilvano in, in Italy to, in 2018 and in the Croatian Championship in Zagreb in Croatia uh, and also the European Championship in Hannover in Germany in 2019. We also faced some problems on the preliminary challenge so the first thing is um, that we all need all the time and knowledge to finish all our ideas. For example, driving from point to point directly and also making a presentation video because both of us really have quite limited experience with video editing and also everything regarding the coronavirus. Um, our methods are that we work together via Skype or just visit each other privately and also we make area-based forcing but there will be more information about that later and after brainstorming we share our work so everyone has something to do so as a result of all that um, yeah the, everything actually we wanted is working including the area-based forcing which actually is the most special thing about our program and also all the team members are healthy, we didn't infect with the coronavirus. Regarding the analysis of the challenge mission, uh, we first analyze the map together, then one of us programs the basic stuff, for example point collection, deposits and avoiding the traps. Um, at the same time the other one uh, thinks of advanced strategies for the map, then we code the advanced scripts and look at it, how the program is working and eliminate also mistakes we possibly made. And um, while looking at it, maybe sometimes it happens, we get new ideas and then we also implement those new ideas. Uh, in this special uh, competition we have two advanced algorithms which first is the lack of progress detection where the robot counts how often it avoids something and if it sees nothing for more than two seconds the count goes down to zero again um, and if the counter goes over five or another specified value the robot makes a 180 degree turn and that obviously protects the robot from being stuck in a corner for example and also another special thing we do is the area-based forcing um, where the robot rotates in a given direction if it enters one of the areas we specify. This way we can direct the robot to the deposit areas easily for example and also um, it may be dependent on loaded objects or maybe compass and time also. Besides that we basically just have the obvious scripts that pretty much every program has such as collecting points and not leaving the map, depositing, turning into deposit fields, etc. Uh, regarding the implementation, the things we use uh, are the loaded objects, for example for the robot to not unnecessarily try to collect points. Um, we also often specify certain fields for area-based forcing or we kind of create virtual walls, um, for example, for the robot to automatically drive to deposit positions. 
Um, also, the turn to x degrees uh, key action proved to be very useful. Um, the positive uh, parts of these tools are that uh, the program also obviously works a lot faster if you're not stopping on every point, um, ignoring the amount of loaded objects. And also we can easily direct the robot to the deposit fields or other areas we want the robot in. Um, also the turn to command helps us to make clean turns without complicated statements. In this tournament we didn't really make big mistakes. Uh, there were only a few small bug fixes we had to do that worked instantly. Um, it was a really nice experience so far in general. So to conclude, we are really happy to achieve the second round of this tournament. Um, yeah, in the next competition we want to start working on the video earlier. Um, and also, um, yeah, the task really is not to underrate. Uh, there are a lot of possible things to do which are more or less um, hard to do. The things we have learned programming in CoSpace are analyzing bugs, solving problems, strategical planning, teamwork, and yeah, what we learned in this specific challenge is to hand our code in online too. And the things we want to share are that this tournament is really not to underestimate. Uh, it's It can be hard and so it's really important to take enough time to finish all tasks and get to know new teams, make practice runs with them and most importantly have fun. So that's it. We wish every team good luck and have a lot of fun and see you.